find the limo and ride the bike. Hi there. Hello. Hi. How are you? How you doing? Hi there. <laughs> Hello, Bill. Let's have our audit guests please have a dress code for this thing. You have a bunch of dress. Woody Allen's dress code. I'm not going to believe the whole thing to have happen. The uh, woman and I met at the corner of Sunset and Bottom. Let's ask our audit guests, Loman and Barclay, to please come inside. We'll be in a minute. And so we, no, at the time it was Wallach Music City. And uh, through the years, we walked the streets many, many times. Our and uh, the idea of ever having. Al Roger! We really have to mention we love folks. We love you! Son of a gun, when I got my star, we had the Air Force fly over, the fire department came by, the National Guard sent a band, five fans rode up on an elephant, and rocked, and Norman and Barkley topped me with ten dancers. <laughs> Son of a gun. Roger and now, all righty, I'm going to introduce you to a gentleman now that most of you have grown up with, certainly if you've lived in Southern California for any time, ladies and gentlemen, Bill Walsh. Yay! We expect people to dress at least decently for a ceremony of this importance, and here they show up in rented tuxedos. But somehow, I got lucky and uh, was able to slip into the uh, Lumen and Barkley show this morning, uh, crowding aside some of the mayors and police chiefs and others such as that were there, and I pointed out to, to Al and Roger, this is one of our more expensive stars that we unveil here today. It has two lines of words on it instead of just one because we spell both their names out completely just to let them know we really care here in Hollywood. Matter of fact, I've known these two fellows. I've known them so long that I knew Al before he knew there was a Roger and I knew Roger before he knew there was an Al. And it's nice to see that their careers continue to go on and on and on, that they have such a great rapport with the people of Southern California. And this is the best way we know to do it, is by expressing our appreciation by providing you with one of our stars in this Hollywood Walk of Fame. And I like to point out that today a lot of you will look at this star, but think of the future. In the next century, people will walk up and down Vine Street, and they will know that the people of Hollywood loved Al Loman and Roger Barkley. Thank you. Thank you, Bill. You know, the interesting thing, Bill, is you uh, made mention of their dress, and the way they are dressed at this moment, they could walk right down Hollywood Boulevard and wouldn't even be noticed. <laughs> In 1968, they arrived at KFI with E. Eva Schneider, Chef Leonard Leonard, and all the rest of the crazy characters that come alive direct from Al's vivid imagination. As many of us here today know, Al and Roger's quick wit and easy charm have endeared them to the almost one million faithful listeners who turn in each weekday and Saturday mornings from 6 to 10 a.m. <laughs> Now, in addition to their many radio awards, Al and Roger have also received two Emmys for their 1970-71 KNBC television program, The Loman and Barkley Show. Although Al and Roger are very busy with their radio show on KFI, they also make numerous public appearances throughout the year performing their popular stand-up comedy routines. Let's give a warm welcome to two of Southern California's most valuable natural resources, oh. Al Loman and Roger Barkley. imagine waking up every, every morning wondering what libel suits these guys are going to get involved in during the day. But he is the boss man over at KFI, the vice president and general manager, Don Dalton. Hey, hey, hey. I want to say thank you all for coming. When do we and I hope that you can understand what Johnny Grant just said, that how secure I must feel to know that Loman and Barkley control my life. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> when do we get 
Don Dalton, Roland and Barclays, Gene Autry. Ladies and gentlemen, Bruce Wayne. guys who come to California from Hollywood, and I brought something <laughs> from Iowa to California, to Hollywood, yes. I found something that I thought perhaps is applicable to um, this honor. <laughs> this is something that Ruth Gordon is quoted as having said. Yeah. Wonderful actress Ruth Gordon, she said. Survival is the achievement the show business community prizes above all others because it's the hardest. And I suppose, as people walk by and they look at that and they say, who the hell was Norman and Barclay? Someone can say, their star is on this sidewalk because they survived. They didn't have a whole lot of talent. They didn't achieve great stardom. But by God, they survived. Who we are next to? Chester Conklin, a marvelous. And Bobby Driscoll is under me. Bobby Driscoll is under here. Right? I mean, he really is under here. Yeah. <laughs> One thing only endures. And that is what? Loman and Barclay. Yeah! We have had our names on something. I, I, I'd like to quote uh, from something that I saw with our name on it. It said, it was in a men's room. It said, want to have a good time? Call Loman and Barclay. <laughs> But this is something special, and tomorrow will be the same humble nerds we always have been, but today I'm going to star away. Thank you. That's Thank right, you. Thank you. Thank you. I'll tell you, you have just seen history, the first time in the history of Rock of Fame yes. that we have ever inducted anybody wearing Reeboks. <laughs> We will now go down to the star that bears the proud name, Robert W. Moore. To <laughs> the Walk of Fame, Loman and Berkeley. Hey! I know you can't be down here all the time to look at your star. I just thought you might like to have replicas. They either put in the rear window of your car <laughs> or uh, the office, whatever. Here they are. Thank you so much, John. You know, a lot of people think people in show business are hams, but we're not. We're just plain, simple folk. Hold up I, your I never got that. I got the Hold up black, please. Yeah, okay. How's that? Give me the angle this way. And then this way. Back? Okay. Here we go. Nice. Here we go. Look right here, right here. Okay, now let's have our people in there. I appreciate what you're doing. Thank you. It's awfully good of you. Our next star will be Miss Dion Warwick on December 12th at the Crossroads of the Chinese Theater. Audrey, is that a better location? This star's right down the street. Sorry. Okay. Okay. This is Hollywood. Hi over there. My picture of this little camera. Remember Chester Conklin? Guys, he was one of the Keystone Cops. He was sort of a, a, a fat fellow. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. 
Congratulations to you uh, for your star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. You guys deserve it. Nice work. <laughs> Are you going to send us those?